you for uh, agreeing to be on our program. We're going to move this mic a little bit closer to you. Why don't you tell us a little bit uh, about who you are, that bundle of joy on your lap, and, uh, and maybe talk a little bit about your church family and uh, a little bit of that so folks can get some familiarity with you right now. So yeah. it's your microphone. Okay, I'm Sherry Simpson, soon to be Sherry Tolbert on 11-11-11. And this is, can you say your name? Marcia. Oh, mercy, so cute. <laughs> Marcia, what a beautiful name. And we go to Glad Tidings, Church of God in Christ. Okay. And and she sings in, what's, what are you in at church? What do you sing in church? <laughs> she, mother's whispering and she thinks she has to and she's in the sunshine said, band sunshine band we know right. about that absolutely that's great she's in the sunshine and my we are dressed like a mother daughter today and what does that shirt say i can't see it i'm so close to you what does it say whose school is that <laughs> huh yeah, it's not your school no. yet, but it's <laughs> brother's school. But I like that word yet. Yeah. I like that word yet. Yeah. Yeah. They're dressed for the radio brother's folks. Brother's school, International in, uh, Academy of Flint. In burgundy and gold with a black and white uh, name on us and a, a very pretty phoenix because that's our logo. And uh, thanks, Mom, for being with us. Oh, I appreciate that no very much. Who, who's this over here <laughs> dressed similarly? Can you introduce that young man to us? That is <laughs> my son, Michael Malik Fleming, Jr., her big brother. Okay. Well, and, she loves. And by the way, I, I need to acknowledge, uh, I, I believe it's Mr. Tolbert that came in this morning. Thank you very much for getting Mom here, and it's good to see you. And I know you can't stay. you got to fly off to work, but we appreciate the, the joining of a family here. That's such a wonderful thing, and many congratulations you. to you prematurely. You. But who can forget? There's no excuse for you to ever forget anniversary. 11, 11, 11. Maybe she, I know why she did that. Exactly. That's exactly. you know, right. a smarty one here. Okay. You're in for it. Okay. Well, great. So good to meet you, my friend. And who is this other guest? That's my, that's my mom, Dovey Roberts. Hi, Miss Roberts. It's been a while since I've seen you. I know. She, you may not hear her. She says, I know. But we bring back memories from a, a long time ago so okay. it's very pleased to see you my dear oh i okay. forgot my pastor oh it's please pastor yeah. anthony tolbert okay the church of god very good and Legend. we need to introduce where is that church located now help me it's on coldwater road and oh. the address is coldwater road between clio and ml king okay. close enough yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> we we have a mta bus that runs right up in there so we're right, uh, on, is it on, right right by Mendelburg? It's on, it's on Coldwater and Mendelburg, right sure. on the corner. Yeah, yeah. in okay. fact, I know oh, that's okay. that. I, I drive up there. You're close to the Salvation Army Beecher Corps up there as well. Okay, I think they're, they're a little bit towards um, uh, Neff Street, I think. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. yeah, 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 correct. Okay, well, anyway, um, young man, <coughs> you've been introduced, and can you give us a little bit about who you are and what you are doing at our school and we'll talk in a moment with your wrestling coach and also one of your instructors in the past uh, Michael tell us about yourself if you wouldn't mind uh, maybe you'd like to say uh, what your favorite classes are and maybe in a minute or two we'll ask you about maybe a possible career choice or choices you might like to make but let the audience hear your voice and uh, let's hear it from you right now please uh, well the favorite class is probably uh, math uh, Mr. Goslin? No, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Goslin. Goslin. Okay. Yeah. And what grade are you, by the way? The audience. Um, tenth grade. Me. Okay. And you've been in our school how long? Uh, this is my second year. Second year. So you can Where'd you come from? What school? Uh, International Academy. No. A, as an eighth grade. Where? Oh no, I'm at. Um, Oh, Grand Lake. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's what nervous. a great memory, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get him a sedum. He's just a little yeah. nervous. <laughs> this, is, this is your mother here. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. your mom. Can tell right. my <laughs> yeah, well, great. We're glad you're with us. Uh, how was your ninth grade year with us? How'd you do? I was pretty good. Uh, the classes was hard. I never um, went to a school like this. Mm -hmm. It's I a little bit challenging, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I never took all okay. the tests. Okay, yeah, we do test a lot, Mom, That's but you, you know our purpose, yeah. so I think you appreciate that. I mean, I think it helps because it lets you know where you are, mm -hmm. you know, okay, I did bad, so I better mm -hmm. study on this. And you know immediately because we right. have immediate feedback. So Instead of waiting until yeah. the season's, I mean, the mm -hmm. semester's almost mm -hmm. over, then you got to try to cram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
No, we, we test weekly instead of uh, midterm. What's happened in midterm if you wasted six, seven, eight weeks, and then it might be too late. So we test weekly, which gives us immediate feedback as to where each student is. And uh, simultaneously, we're also looking then at quality of instruction as well. Right. Because if there's a class in which too many children aren't getting it, then we need to have a conversation with the instructor and uh, figure out why <coughs> that's happening. So we're pretty much on top of it, we'll say. Okay, sister, I'm glad you're doing well, young man. Now let me talk about your career choices. Have you given that some thought? And where do you think you might be headed? Uh, I was thinking about the military. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What branch? Uh, the Air Force. Air Force, okay. Yeah. Uh, why would you select the Air Force other than you think you like to fly? But is there another reason? Uh, I just think it'd be kind of cool to do. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, uh, the Air Force will also require you to, um, you know, have complete, of course, yeah. your high school education. But again, and you've been told before, you, you'll still have to, even if you enroll immediately after high school, you will still have to have a college letter of acceptance from us yeah. to graduate from our school. Okay, well, let's shift gears a little bit. We've got a, one of our instructors with us, and his name, well, let me, Nick, why don't you introduce yourself? Let, let's start with that. My name uh, is uh, Mr. Sirikowski. I am a science teacher at IEF. This is my second year here, and I'm trying to get a wrestling program started. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, we have um, student life. We do wrestling during yes. school. We're trying, to, we're trying to build from there. We're trying to start a wrestling team, mm -hmm. so... Okay. Uh, Michael is part of that. I understand he has some skill in that area. Is that what you told me about him? Yeah, he said he, he has some skill. I don't know how many years experience he has. Yeah, about, about two. Okay. Two yeah, years. So. My dad started me like, a long time ago. Oh, that's good. That's good. He so. made it to the state finals Are you his serious? first year. Oh, did he? Year. Okay. Yeah. So he has quite a bit Whoa. of skill in wrestling. We're trying to build a program Um. because wrestling teaches discipline, you know, uh, perseverance. It builds, it's the solid foundation yeah. for kids, so we're trying to build upon that and help kids in the community. So, yeah, to be a wrestler, it's a good, a good thing, good thing you must be really for dedicated. I know yes. my son wrestled, so I know uh, he had to obviously maintain weight, so there was, oh, yeah, that's, that's there. the hard part. And then, of course, uh, <laughs> the cut, cut, cutting weight and you know, weighing in that's the hard part of wrestling. So, well, I don't know that this one will have trouble cut, cutting weight, <laughs> he's tall and lanky, and I'll uh, think he has think, anything to cut. I think that, that gives a, a, a wrestler extra leverage, doesn't it, when they're a little bit taller? Yeah, in that yeah it does. They got, they got the arms and legs they use to wrap sure. around the opponent. Okay. So. All right. Well, how, how do you, why do you deserve to teach wrestling? Maybe you have a history well, in that I sport? Well, I was part of a um, two-time <laughs> state championship wrestling team. Wow. So I was named MVP of uh, that team. I was also a uh, team captain. Okay. So. What team yeah. was it, sir? Come on, let them know. The Pure West High School. Okay. All right. yeah, Pure West High School. They're so. noted for a good yeah. wrestling team. Yes, program. they are. Sure. Yes. Uh, okay. And to be a state champion, I mean, that's, uh, that's a, a, a tremendous honor, and B, it shows us that you have the discipline, dedication, and mm -hmm. obviously the skill to not only be a wrestler, but to teach the sport. So I think we're very fortunate to have you on our staff, A, as an instructor, because that's first. Yes. And science, obviously, a very important uh, area of learning. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, if you have a degree in science today or math, you will certainly uh, be able to uh, gain um, uh, employment, we're quite sure. Um, and also, of course, um, tell a little bit about our student life program and how we wrestle some of the time during the school day. How, do, how does okay. that work out? Well, student life is a, it's kind of like extracurricular um, program. and. We, we, do, we set up mats, we try to work on skills, uh, um, we've worked on takedowns, um, from, uh, working from the down position, uh, throws, right? Over, yeah. we've worked on a lot of throwing positions, um, yeah. moves, mm -hmm. and just, just trying to build the basic knowledge to get a team started mm -hmm. and, you know, try to build from there. All right, so our competition really is among our own kids within yeah. our own school. Right day. now it is, yes. Right, the yeah. last period of the day from about quarter to three to 3.35, Around three rough terms, okay. And now, have we? Will we get any competition at all with uh, a team a practice? Uh, any? Can we do anything like that? Well, and wh what age are we starting this in? I know student life last period of the day is high school, but I think we had a very brief chat, and you're interested in going younger, which would be in yes. good for all of us. Um, yeah, high school right now we're working with high school students, but I would like to uh, build a program, maybe from as low as third grade, even okay. third fourth grade, and kind of work yeah. the you know, build up from there because we want kids coming up 
that already have experience in wrestling, so they know what they're doing. And yeah. Are any of our team. kids involved in that? Uh, they, they wrestle on Saturdays all over the southern Michigan, and, and they go to different locations. That, I can't, Michigan, MM, the MMWA is a uh, yes, yes. Yes. wrestling program. And uh, do any of our children participate in that? Um, as of right now, I don't believe students participate in the MMWA. Right. They, they, could, they could. I mean, as a charter school, I believe well, that not, that's more individual. I think that it is more individual. Right. So they could participate, yeah, but he wouldn't be able to, as he's too old for that program. Yeah, that that program, um, the cutoff is, I believe, is thirteen, age okay, thirteen. So it's so. in middle school. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Um, all right, coach. Thank you. Now the science thing. What exactly, science-wise, do you teach for us? I teach this year. I teach uh, ninth grade physical science. Um, 10th grade biology and 12th grade chemistry. Okay, so. now you know what I heard about our 10th grade biology book. It's, it's challenging enough to college. be college level. Yes, okay. it is. In fact, I thought I will agree with that, Sister Carolyn. Yeah, I thought I always mentioned Sister Carolyn because she's been my broadcasting buddy here for what 214 years, 11 oh, days, my. and 14 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, our. Our 10th grade biology class is equivalent at least to what Mott College is teaching their biology program. That's what I was told. Would that be a good correlation, sir? Yeah, yep. Okay, That'd be correct. All right. um, now, you don't teach physics or applied physics? Physics, or? I don't teach physics. I, I, I took two physics classes in college, but I don't want to teach it. Okay, all right. okay. All right. <laughs> it's, not my, it's not my thing, it's not my now, area. Michael, so. do you have an interest in science? Uh, it's challenging for me. I don't. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. Have, are you? You're not one of his instructors, then, or are you? I uh, taught. He was uh, one of my students last year. Last year, year ninth grade physical science. Yeah. And he did well in the class. Okay. Very so good. He, well, he indicated you're a bright kid, so I thought you'd be a good match here for us today to talk about the athletic part as well as the academic part. Mom, we're going to shift gears if if you don't mind. Okay. And we'll talk a little bit about um, maybe why you chose our school why you thought this would be a good mix for your children or a good um, yeah a good situation for them well him coming from grand blank academy it it um i just didn't you know they don't have a a charter school well, in grand blank well they do have grand blank academy right that's where we went but it only okay. went up to the eighth grade yes i understand you met right. a high school a high I understand school what right yes, so yeah. um right. i i just i was I hate to talk bad about anything, but <laughs> I didn't want him, I wanted him to go in more challenging sure. than okay. the and local the, schools, put it that way, somewhere yeah, more we, challenging. Audience, we've not had a conversation, so this is strictly, uh, you know, just mom and I talking. So then we have, uh, in your estimation, fulfilled your, es your expectations. Yes. Are we going the right way there? Yes, and okay. it might be a little bit more challenging to him. Because, you know, like in when he was in elementary, he was in special ed for reading and math. And then mm -hmm. he moved up, he tested out Wonderful. special ed yeah, for math. But then as far as English, you know, he still had to. And I know you guys, you know, you catered yeah. and helped him out. Sure. And, but it's still challenging for him. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a struggle, but he's mm -hmm. he's he's coming mm -hmm. on. And you guys got the yeah. help, too. So. Well, that, Mom, that's great. And uh, you call us and yeah, you let us know. Thank you. And I give you credit for, um, you know, wanting him to go in a challenging program. I know that it can be challenging as well at home because you don't want to hear the, uh, you know, Ma, I'm having trouble and Ma, I'm, on, you know, I'm having this and I'm having that, but you stuck right in there with us. And, exactly. And, that's great. and, and I appreciate so the cause. Yeah. I appreciate the teacher calling me and saying he needs help and, you know, what okay. can we do? And I, I really appreciate that. Okay. Right, it's like you really care, so. Well, we kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kind of do. <laughs> um, all right. Michael, um, let's see, you uh, you know much about our um, program that uh, sends kids to foreign country in the summer? Are you familiar with, no, with that? No, no. Not too well. You ought to take a look at that, because every summer uh, we send, for two weeks, we send to, uh, three, four kids to, this year they went to Bath, England, the year before they went to Cairo, Egypt. Oh, yeah, no. It, yeah, 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 in the yeah. student life, there's pictures yeah. everywhere, so I, I kind of know what you you ought, you ought to apply for that in, yeah, at exactly. some point. Yeah. And, and now, in fact, in November, coming up just a couple of weeks, our kids are, um, to about 35 or 40 of them are being selected to go into a leadership program. Uh, in the past, they went up to Wolf, Big Wolf Lodge and uh, spent you know, a weekend up there. Obviously, having, it's a water park, so they had tremendous <laughs> fun. But uh, they also did some leadership things as well. In fact, um, Ms. Simpson, the cameraman here, 
uh, Marcus went to um, England this wow. year. He was one of three that went. And uh, uh, again, he then met with the kids from the other Saba schools worldwide. And they uh, you know, exchange information, of course, about how they do their school, how we do our similarities. Mm -hmm. And he met some pretty fine young people. And I think you're likely on um, uh, a, a mailing, I mean, an email list, and you've got buddies in foreign countries in the Middle East wow. and all of this stuff. What a great that's, experience. That's so why don't awesome. you push this rascal awesome. over here that I'm pointing at? <laughs> that's and awesome. see, wouldn't that be a great treat? And of yes. course, we pay for that. That's even the better wow. treat for moms and dads. Okay. Okay. All right, very good. <laughs> good. Okay. Um, Mr. Sarakowski, that, um, why don't you, had, had you had te prior teaching experience before uh, you came to us? Uh, no, I, I, summer school taught at Mount Morris, okay. uh, middle school. Okay. That, and I, um, I was a Title I teacher also at the, the Mount Morris Middle School, but prior to that, not, I was never a full-time teacher. Okay. Um, last year was my first year. Yeah, I was trying to draw a comparison with what you had and how you were taught, how you taught before in a in a no more public school system yeah. in lieu of a charter school. Of course, charters are public. We all know that. And what do you pay every month to go to our school, Michael? Uh, you have to ask my mom that. Oh, okay. <laughs> how much what? How much you pay every month to come to our school? Zero dollars. Well, zero, the word. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, charters in Michigan. Uh, anyway. Oh. Okay, and. <laughs> Michael, you've been asked, somebody called in, did they? Okay, and they would like to know your favorite uh, area. Is that the right one? Spanish. Speak Spanish. Oh, you, oh, the other stuff. <laughs> yeah, you got us. Thanks. Whoever called, thank you very kindly. Um, you take Spanish with us as well. Of course, yes. you get that every day. And who's your Spanish teacher? Uh, Mrs. Hampton. Yeah, okay. She's a good teacher. Okay, that's good to hear. Did you get Spanish in uh, the other school, the middle school? Oh, no. So this is your first foreign language? Yes. Okay. Now, most uh, high schools require uh, maybe two years of foreign language. We require four. In fact, the kids that started with us, Marcus, you started with us, you'll have 12 years of Spanish. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, so that's outstanding. And so it looks sure, real good sure on a resume. Back. And uh, we again, uh, you probably know this, Mom, uh, he's a sophomore. Certainly next year, um, if you feel he's able to, we would um, have him take AP classes. AP stands for Advanced Placement. So while he's earning high school credit, mm -hmm. he's simultaneously earning college credit. Mm. And wow. then when he goes to college, then of course he'll not have to take that particular course, which is less expensive overall. And of course, in terms of time, you'll, he may earn, he could earn as much as a semester or so that he wouldn't have to go to school for, at, depending on, on how well he would do okay. in the AP courses. We've been doing that for years. It's just the way that our school is set up and we'll continue to do that. And then I think um, in the past we've had a, a couple of kids, and we may very well, certainly next year and this year as well, uh, next semester we may do dual enrollment with the University of Michigan for a course as well. So okay. the kids will come to our school in the morning, and then whenever that course is offered at U of M or Kettering, then we would send them to that location as well. Okay. We're developing a partnership with Kettering University, <laughs> Sister Carolyn. Okay, while well, you're prancing around over there. Okay. You must be nice. <laughs> okay. I'm like, can I go now? <laughs> okay. All right. All can right. I go back to high school? Um, <laughs> for real. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, Michael. Let's talk a little bit more with you. Um, activities at church. I know the church you go to. Do you get involved there with the youth program or? Uh, I'm not really. Okay. I, I, I try to if my mom pushed me a little bit more. Okay, mom pushed. But push, he's, he's, you know. he's back and forth. <laughs> sure. Weekend after week. So well, yeah, well, you mentioned that there's an issue here with um, dual custody, which I right. guess that's the word. I have to use. share him. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and. Um, Sometimes uh, that gets a little inconsistent. I understand completely. But anyway, uh, yeah, and then we always talk about, we're on, of course, WFLT, the finest radio program in America, WFLT Radio, 1420 AM. And if you got some call-ins you'd like to do, 239-5733. Let's bust a line here, 239-5733. Ask our guests. I might even take a crack at answering a question. <laughs> And uh, we'd love to have you. But we always encourage, particularly on this station, uh, our young people to have a church affiliation because uh, we just believe that a solid mm -hmm. spiritual foundation fits perfectly with a solid educational foundation and, and therefore develop good values and, and moral instincts and all that stuff that, that we think rounds out a student, which will better ensure them to be successful not only in college but in the rest of their life. So we trust the faith that they're developing now 
will be their uh, stronghold for uh, for duration. So uh, Michael, we'll uh, we'll jump on mom's side here and encourage you when you can to uh, you know really maybe take part in uh, church activities. And I know you go when you can. That's great. We appreciate that. Sister Carolyn, just for a slight change in direction, um, just before I got here today, I was asked by uh, one of the parents that's at the school, they said, how is uh, the young man that uh, got shot? And I, uh, if the audience doesn't mind, we'd like to give you a little update. Please. Um, he, uh, I walked with him around the hall the other day because wow. I was in the hospital. So he, he's, he has to walk. That's part of PT, yes. physical training. And he had a little bit of a setback in that... Um, uh, the bullet, of course, collapsed his lung, and in light of that, uh, there was a lot of mucus and other liquids that formed, and uh, the doctors were afraid that uh, he might uh, touch and get a touch of pneumonia or something like that. So then they, he wasn't coughing it up as quickly as they'd hoped he would, so they went in uh, both front and back through his back, and of course, uh, he had some drainage coming out of the front to kind of really get the, the, and then the other complication was blood clotting. So um, they removed the blood clots, and, and uh, uh, that is out. And we're it's a very strong kid, both mentally, which I'm so proud of, and uh, spiritually. And in fact, the day I was up there visiting, I think it was yesterday, um, Pastor Stokes was there, which is his church family, and uh, we all had prayer for him at that moment. And uh, he'll he'll recover. But Sister Carolyn, there's going to be a, a rally that uh, Pastor Stokes is arranging at his church. I think it's November 9th, 13th, if I'm November 23rd, I think it is, uh, which is, I think, the day before um, Thanksgiving. I, I don't have the exact date, but I know that's going to occur. Uh, the Stokes uh, Ministry Organization will be uh, having a rally for him at the church, and there's some other bigger plans that I've kind of heard about, and I'll not share those at this moment. But we're going to have Pastor Stokes on here with us, likely the week of or the Saturday the 19th to kind of talk about the rally and uh, where that where that might go now you you knew uh, um, the young man that got injured and you yeah. didn't you really know him very well okay yeah, he was a senior of course and uh, <coughs> first name is, is Duane that's all we'll say and uh, we um, he's been doing well marvelously well in fact Nick did you uh, know the young man yes I knew him I knew him from last year and okay. uh, this year, I've never had him as a student, but I, okay. I talked to him quite well, a bit. Well, you can't help but know him. Yeah, he's, oh, yeah. he's a black mouth student. In, in a mm -hmm. very good way. In a very good <laughs> <Okay>. way. <Yeah. laughs> Sometimes that has a negative connotation, but no, he, he's right on top of things. Uh, and we're so proud. When, when he was interviewed on uh, television, um, the uh, broadcaster told me later, he said, well, you got quite a kid there. He's, he's, to mm -hmm. have that attitude after being shot, uh, it's amazing. So they thought very well of that young man. Okay, um, uh, but anyway, audience, so I know you listened, and many of you, I'm positive, many of you prayed for that young man, as, as did our school, as well as uh, everyone that, um, frankly, we've talked with uh, folks with prayers who are flying back and forth from planet Earth to the good Lord. So uh, as a result of that, I think he is progressing well, and that's always a, a good thing. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the bullet uh, still remains in him. They're going to leave it there, I believe. Yeah. It would be too... Um, uh, yeah, complicated, and um, just leave it where it is, I guess. Mm. So I think that unless some future um, um, complication occurs, they'll likely leave it in him. So uh, Dwayne's doing well, and uh, we trust that he'll have full recovery. We want him back in school. He's missed a lot of tests, mm -hmm. and we, want <laughs> we can't have that. I don't care who he is, shot or not. We want you in school, boy. <laughs> How's that for a soft-hearted man? Huh? Isn't that something, Sister Simpson? I tell you. Okay. okay. All right. Well, anyway, uh, we're approaching uh, time here. We've got about three minutes based upon Sister Carolyn, the called Big Ben here at WFLT. <laughs> we, we thank you. She's our timepiece. Okay. Uh, Mr. Sarakowski, we'll probably ask you to maybe uh, talk a little bit about uh, our school by way of, uh, let's talk about school climate. We, we, um, when you come to work in the morning, um, do you want to be there? What's the attitude you feel the kids have? What's the attitude you feel the staff has? Uh, let's hear some okay, of your well, remarks about that. Yes, uh, I love coming to school. I mean, the staff, we, we are very close, you know, and we have uh, good relationships. You can talk about mm -hmm. um, anything with anybody. Mm -hmm. um, there's always, they're always there to help. Mm -hmm. If you're struggling in a certain area, mm -hmm. they're, they're more than willing to give you what you need mm -hmm. to succeed. So, do, do they kid each other ever? 
Oh, oh no, never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of that. All right, we just had another call in here, I think. If she can, can you read that? Criteria. What is the criteria for the new wrestling program? Okay. Uh, right now, we are working with high school students. I want to build up from younger grades, like I said, third grade, um, third, fourth grade, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is, you have to have 70% average yeah, to yeah. participate in sports. Yeah. And that so includes that was, elementary that now. Yeah, you, you, that's elementary you also. Elementary as well, yeah. that's up and down the ladder. So yes, your, your GPA yeah. has to be up uh, yeah. above 70%. Mm -hmm. um, criteria, just be uh, dedicated, yeah. hard worker, um, have perseverance. Sure. Okay. And that builds upon all of those. That's right. So. And that's, that's just good skills you want throughout your life. The, the, we lay the foundation there, uh, both in the academic arena, but in the sports arena as well. And uh, those skills you learn there will simply carry you through. It, it really will. All right. Um, do we have any closing remarks here? Michael, would you like to say anything to... You know, those 30 to 40 girlfriends that you have. <laughs> wow, am I close? Am I close? What do you think? You need a lot of calls. Uh, yeah, uh, no. Now you're a rock star. What? <laughs> I'm on the radio. Uh, and TV. Yeah, yeah, um, Channel 17. Right? Yeah. On 6.30 Friday night. 6.30 Friday night. If you want to see Michael Fleming Jr., you may do that. <laughs> Michael, any closing remarks or words of wisdom to anybody that might be listening or considering coming to our school? Uh, just work hard. That's what it takes to be at the school. Okay. What about wrestling? How does it help you as an individual? Uh, does it help build up upon? Yeah, well, it really helped me. I used to be, like, shy and uh, mm -hmm. quiet in class. No. Yeah. What, yeah. Dedication? I'm open to that more. Okay, but well, that's amazing. He recognizes that and feels good about that. That's great, Michael. Way to go. Okay. Well, Mom, the spotlight's on you. Okay. And uh, any uh, remarks that you'd like to offer folks? Any closing well, remarks? About the school. I, I really, I really yeah. like the school, and I like um, the structure. And if you're a parent and you come mm -hmm. in there, it's not like, oh... What does this parent want? Mm -hmm. It's oh, like, uh, yeah. especially you, you know. <laughs> like, he is happy all the time. Why? <laughs> but thank God for that. Okay. <laughs> <You know? laughs> w, is that true? They've always been happy? Yes, you have. Is that right? Okay. Every, uh, way back I mean, since the, the, the spirit, that's all. And, and um, the school, I like, and they just, I guess, you rub off on them because everybody's friendly and okay. the kids seem to like it. And, Offer kind of guy. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, okay, what do we got time wise? We're about ready to go. Oh, we got zero. Everybody on the bottom of your paper, wherever you are, somebody look at someone and say, Woo! That is some kind of school. Goodbye, Debbie Roberts. Okay. <laughs>